In this video, I will show you how to download FIFA 23 on PC. So let's jump straight into it. So as you can see, I'm here at google.com. Now what, what you wanna do first is of course, open up an internet browser and come across to a search engine like Google. From here, what you wanna do is just search for download EA app. And there are a couple of different ways you can actually download FIFA 23, but this is the best way because EA is of course the main client for the game. So of course you're gonna get a better smooth experience if you do download it through the EA app. So what you want to do is click onto the first result here, which says download the EA app. And it's gonna take you across to the official website. And from here, you're gonna see straight away, it says the EA app for Windows, download the app here. So what you wanna do is click onto this download link. And then what you want to do is just click the button here to run the installer. If it doesn't come up like mine has, if you just come down to the bottom left hand corner, click onto your search box and type downloads. What you can do is have a look in your downloads folder and you should see the install wizard in there. So what we're going to do is just run through and set this up now. So you just want to click on this to start the installation wizard. Click let's go, the big blue button here. And you'll see it's going to start saying that it's going to start downloading stuff. As I say, you can use different clients. I think you can use like Steam. Um, but personally, I would say go with EA just because they are, of course, the official game publisher. So the client's going to be designed for the game. It's just going to handle it a lot better. So you'll see it's going to take a minute or two just to basically download this. So I'm just going to leave that to download and I'll come back once that's finished downloading. So as you can see, it's finished downloading. It's just coming to the end of the process now. You can see it says installing the EA app. So we're just gonna give it a second or two to run through and finish installing the app. And here we are, the app has now finished downloading and installing. You can see it's flashing down at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is click onto this and you're gonna see it's gonna bring up the sign in screen. So what I'm gonna do is just minimize this web browser just so it's a bit easier for you guys to see. And what you can do, if you've got an account with EA, you can go ahead and enter your email or ID down here. If you don't, you can just come down and create an account down here, or you can alternatively sign into your account with other different platforms like Xbox or PlayStation or Steam. Um, for myself, I do actually have an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enter that now. And then I'm gonna click sign in down here. And once you signed in, what's gonna happen, it's gonna load up the EA dashboard. So this is similar if you use things like Steam, it's sort of similar. Um, so what you can do is, of course, if you come to the left-hand side, you've got your library where any downloaded games will be here. But what you want to do from here to download FIFA is just come to the search box at the top and go ahead and type FIFA 23 and then hit enter. And you'll see we're gonna get FIFA 23 come up. So all you wanna do is give this a click and then what you can do, it's um, £60 here, £59.99, and you can select edition, or you've got the options to EA Play, which is a monthly subscription, so you can get as part of that if you want to. If you don't want a basic edition, but you do want to buy the full game, then click the blue select edition here, and you're going to see the difference between the standard edition and the ultimate edition. So you can see, for example, in the standard edition, you don't get any FIFA points, but if you get the ultimate edition, you start off with 4,600 FIFA points. So what you wanna do is click buy on the edition you want to go for. So I'm just gonna go for standard edition. And then what you would do from here is choose how you want to pay for the game. So you can use a credit or debit card, PayPal. Of course, this does vary from country to country. This is just what's available in my country. Um, and once you've done that, you would basically click proceed to review order. And it's gonna take you to like a checkout screen where you can purchase the game. Once you purchase the game, you'll be able to start downloading it straight away and you can come down to the bottom left hand corner down here, click on download manager to see the progress of the game. Once it's fully installed, just come up and click onto library and you will see FIFA 23 in there. And all you wanna do is click on FIFA 23 to start playing. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today and if it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.